Hi, I'm Chef Rick Tarantino. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I got a great recipe for you. It's shrimp with feta cheese and walnut salad. We've got some wonderful shrimp and some great fresh feta cheese. Let's get started in the kitchen, shall we? All right, I'm going to add some olive oil to my hot pan, about two tablespoons or so. I'm going to add in the butter, about two tablespoons as well. Now with the butter, we added the olive oil to raise the smoking point. So when we caramelize our walnuts, the butter doesn't burn. While that melts, next we're going to add in the brown sugar. Just kind of blend that all together. Keep it moving around. It'll all get nice and soft. Don't worry about those lumps. If your brown sugar gets a little hard, just pop it in a microwave. 30 seconds or so, it'll soften right up. Another trick is you can keep a slice of apple in there with it to keep it moist. A vacuum pack is what I like to do. Okay, so now that's all getting nice and mixed up in there. So I'm going to add in my walnuts. I'm using walnut pieces. You can use whole walnuts. You can use pecans. Any other nut you like, cashews. Okay, now that's going to start to caramelize right in there. What we want it to do is brown and almost turn candy. So the sugar's going to heat up. It's going to get semi-hard and start to adhere to those walnuts. We'll be patient over there. While that kind of works, we could start to get our salad plate ready. Got some Belgium endive right here. So I'm going to peel off these leaves. It's a great, great lettuce. You can find it in your store. It comes in white like this. It also comes in a purple. It's got a great texture. This is about enough for two people right here. We're going to use that to serve our shrimp on. Next, let's come back over here. You can see our walnuts are starting to caramelize right in there. It's going to keep getting thicker and thicker and thicker. Just going to keep an eye on them. Keep stirring them so they don't burn. So now you can do this in advance, a day or two, week in advance. Even store them in an airtight container. Those have caramelized up really nice. You can see how it's coating the walnut. Still a little foam in there from the butter. Don't worry about that. What you're going to do next, you're going to place these on a cookie sheet with a little parchment paper. Spread them out so that they can dry. You're going to have wonderful candied nuts that you can use on top of a salad or in any dish. We're going to set those aside to cool. We'll finish off our salad in the meantime. All right, now let's cook our shrimp. I'm going to add in another tablespoon of so olive oil. Got our U21 shrimps here. That means it's 21 shrimp per pound. You can use any size. These are peeled, deveined, tail off. You can see there's no tail. There's no vein in the middle. They're good to go. Gonna season those with a pinch of salt and pepper. Let them cook for about three or four minutes until they turn pink and they're nice and firm. They're already turning pink. You can see that going right there already. Those are looking great. See how fast they cook up? Moving them around in there, get all that goodness off the bottom. You can do these on your grill in a pan like this. You don't want to overcook them. They'll shrink and turn hard. So you'll notice they're already turning nice and pink and firm when you push on them. That's how you know they're done. They're going to continue to cook for a minute or so when you pull them off the heat. So you don't want to overcook them. So we're going to turn the heat off right there. Okay, I've got my Belgium Mendine leaves right here. I'm going to place my shrimp down. I like to do them warm, so you get the contrast between the warm shrimp and the room temp salad. Now, we're going to finish that off with a little honey from feta cheese. And add some walnuts. Now you see how nice and candied they are. Still a little, just a little sticky. They could have gone a few more minutes, but they'll be great on there anyway, trust me. A couple more. There you go. Serve that with a side of Greek salad dressing. And that's my version of a feta, and walnut shrimp salad. I'm Chef Rick Tarantino. If you like this recipe or you want to get some of this great shrimp, go to my website at www.chefricktarantino.com. Remember what I always say, live to eat and eat what you love.